Mr. Bill Poker Peeps. Welcome to the vlog. As you guys know, I haven't been running very good, haven't been playing very good, but I told you to stick with me. The comeback has officially started. Yes. Uh, I played three sessions this week, Wednesday Poker League. I played at a local club line check, and then we made the trip to Tampa, Florida. I played at the Seminole Hard Rock, and we'll see, have sessions from all three of those. So, on to the poker hands. Pause for camera. <laughs> Greg raised to, what did you raise to? 1600? 16. It was uh, 4 and 8. You lost. I shoved all in. 3700. He called. And I had him dominated and I lost. See what else is new? Swear to Steve, swear to God you don't have a queen. Swear to God you don't have a queen. Wednesday night poker league, couple of hands here. We're playing Omaha high low. Uh, I'm on the in the hijack with two of hearts, queen of diamonds, five of clubs, jack of hearts. Not a great hand for high low, but maybe the high will get there. I think there was like 40 in the pot pre flop. I forgot to record that. The flop came jack of diamonds, seven of hearts, ten of diamonds. Uh, I think it checked around. The turn with 84 in the pot was the ace of clubs. I have the nuts at the moment. Uh, it checks to me. I bet 84. I bet 84. One guy folds and I'm Stone. Stone loves to call. 84? Yeah. Uh -oh. Button's been moved. You want to get on the vlog, Stone? I kind of do. He does. He wants Stone wants to get on the vlog. <laughs> the Stone's on the vlog every week. <laughs> he makes the call. The river with 252 in the pot is the four of diamonds. Brings in the low. Brings in a diamond flush. And he got there. Yeah, he got there. He got there. And Stone bets 130. I know I'm beat. Yeah, I, I have to fold. Yeah. I had Jack Queen. I had Queen King, but I don't have diamonds. King Queen. And, and if you have a low and diamonds, I lose the whole thing. That's Somebody want to chop that? We got it all in after the flop. After and after, after the, turn. the turn, sorry, we ran it three times and I was lucky enough to win two out of three. You're Holy cow. All right, here's a beauty of a hand. I'm under the gun with king of diamonds, nine of diamonds. I have $275. Uh, I limp. I don't do that very often, but I did it in this game. Middle position one, Steve makes it 15. The button calls and I call. Steve is very aggressive, very, very aggressive. Uh, flop with 48 in the pot comes king of hearts, four of spades, king of clubs. I have a top trips. I check. Steve makes it 20. The other guy folds. I make the call. The turn with 88 in the pot is the seven of clubs. I check. Steve bets 50. He's only got 128 total. I go ahead and push it all in there. Steve snap calls. River, seven of diamonds. I show my full house and Steve mucks and I win the pot. Hold on two seconds. Where's your charger? Okay, beautiful. Thank you. All right, here's what I consider a good play, although maybe it was just a winning play. I don't know. I'm in the big blind with pocket jacks. I have $400. There's two limpers. The small blind also calls. I make it 20. Uh, and only the small blind calls. The small blind is Brent. Again, an aggressive player. With 44 in the pot, the flop comes. Five of hearts, nine of diamonds, three of spades. He checks. I decide to check behind. I'm going to see if I can't trap Brent a little bit. The turn, very good card. Another three, the three of diamonds. Uh, he checks, I bet 81. And Brent hems and haws, says, I think you have ace king. I think you have, I have you beat. He shoves all in for 106, which is 25 more. I, of course, make the call. He's got pocket deuces. We run it three times. All right, here we go. Don't be shaky, so. Deuce. Deuce. <laughs> what are you rooting for him? <laughs> Hey, Deuce! You guys stink! Alright, I get them all. Yeah. I get them all. <clears throat> that wasn't even a sweat, Bill. Why in the world are they rooting against Mr. Bill? Because you did that earlier. Oh, oh, this guy over here, right there, Craig, no, he's had you like he's had like 17 huh? penalties against him. I get that. In for 300, out for 750 in the cash can. Yeah. Okay, Friday at the line check, Friday afternoon, they play a 1-3 game, $300 maximum buy-in, um, and they play one hand of Omaha per round. So when we started this game, we were only six-handed. Uh, everybody had brought in for 300 or close to it. Uh, we're playing Omaha high. I have ace of clubs, four of spades, 
five of diamonds, five of clubs, I have $280, and it ends up being four of us at $10 to a flop of king of spades, three of spades, six of hearts. I am open-ended. Somebody bets pot, there's a caller, and I call. So the turn now with 160 in the pot, bingo, bongo, the two of hearts giving me the nuts at the time. Uh, first guy checks, the next guy bets 50, I pot it, uh, one guy folds, and the other guy calls for uh, a lesser amount, all in for 225. The river, jack of clubs, I win, he missed a flush with ace of spades, ten of spades. All right, the next hand against Ryan of Log Watcher. Ryan's always very, very uh, complimentary of my videos, says he loves them, and I really appreciate that he says nice things. And here you go, Ryan, you made the vlog. <laughs> So I have $500 in the big blind. I have king of clubs, 10 of spades. There's six of us. Uh, Ryan straddles to 15 and he's only got 108. I know he's itching to get it in. The hijack, the cutoff, and the button call, the small blind folds. I make the call knowing he's gonna shove it in, which he does. He goes all in for his $108. I had already decided that I'm going to make the call unless somebody else comes behind and raises big. They all fold. I make the call. Ryan has jack four. <laughs> Anyhow, but the board comes out jack five, nine, ace, deuce, and Ryan doubles up. No, more than doubles up. He got my 108 plus those other guys 15, so. <laughs> but I knew it, I was right. I may have lost, but I was right. I have $400, I'm on the button. Five of spades, six of spades. There's two limpers to me. I make it 13, the small blind, and the cutoff call. So on the flop, there's 44 in the pot, and it comes ace of clubs, jack of spades, six of diamonds, and it checks around. The turn is the nine of spades giving me a flush draw. It's checked, the guy bets 15, I raise it up to 55, the small blind calls, and the other guy folds. The river, 10 of spades, he checks, I make it 110, he tanks for a long, long time, and eventually makes the right play and folds. Next hand, I've got king of spades, queen of diamonds with $600. I am under the gun. Uh, I make it 12. The plus one, middle position call. The hijack goes all in for 42. I call, the plus one then goes all in for 92. <laughs> oh my goodness. The middle position calls. He's got money, I've got money. I make the call, here we go. The flop with 322 in the pot between the two divided pots is eight of diamonds, two of spades, queen of hearts, with only two of us still betting. It goes check, check. The turn, king of clubs, giving me top two. Uh, I bet 100, and that other player folds. The river, king of hearts, full house, and I scoop it all. So last hand, we're gonna go over at line check. I have $1,100, I was in for three, so I'm up $800. Uh, I have king of diamonds, 10 of diamonds in the cutoff. Uh, there's a button straddle for six. So there's two limpers. The hijack makes it 25. I call, everybody else folds. The flop with 72 in the pot comes jack of hearts, nine of spades, three of diamonds. He makes it 20. I've got a gutter ball, I've got an over, so I make the call. The turn, 112 in the pot, is a seven of hearts. He checks, hmm, I check behind, I'll take my shot. The river, 112 in the pot, is another seven. It's a seven of clubs. He bets 50. His check on the turn tells me, man, I think I can take this away. I bump it up to 150. And he thinks and he tanks and he says, man, I can beat Jack nine. He can beat Jack nine, I'm in big trouble. <laughs> Anyhow, he thinks for a while, and makes the call with pocket aces, ouchy poo. Kind of my, a little bluff gone awry there, although he made a nice play. I think that he was telling me he was weak and he really wasn't weak. It was my wife's birthday this past week on Friday. So on Friday we had dinner with my daughter, Morgan and Vicky's mom. And then Saturday morning, early, early, we left for Tampa, Florida. Destination, the Strawberry Festival. <laughs> At the Strawberry Festival, we saw pig races, 
It's time to go swimming. Come on, let's go. Here we go. They're making their way up to the bottom. We saw a dog show, there was lots and lots of food, but most of all, we went for the strawberries. Hello peeps, we're at the strawberry festival. How can you go to the strawberry festival and not have, what do we have, strawberry shortcake, so that's what we're having now, so this is for Vicky. <laughs> Who's a funny guy? Okay, let's see what we think. A little, little, just a little whipped cream first. So after a fun but really long day and the dinner, uh, went back to the room, the Seminole Hard Rock was only 10 minutes from the hotel, Vicky said, go ahead and play. So I took the opportunity to go to the Seminole Hard Rock and play a little polka. I made it to the Seminole Hard Rock, now I'm trying to find the poker room, so I should be there in a few minutes, I guess. Man, the poker room is a long way from the parking garage. Holy cow! Okay, now back upstairs again, I guess, to the poker room. Holy cow! Tucked away. This is a huge poker room. Lots and lots of tips going over 40. All right, Seminole Hard Rock, Tampa, Florida. Two five game, 1K buy in maximum. Just me and one other guy, an Asian guy, were the only ones who bought in for 1K. Uh, everybody else bought in for anywhere from five to $700. So the Asian guy, 50 ish. Very aggressive. He showed in the first round that he's playing nearly every hand and he's raising a lot. So anyhow, late in the end of the first orbit, I am in the P1. Uh, I get six of spades, seven of spades. I have $1,050. The end of the gun limps. I decide I'll go ahead with a limp. The middle position two, Asian guy, um, he limps. The button makes it 20. The small blind calls, the big blind folds, and all the rest of us call. So on the flop, 105 in the pot, and it comes two of spades, four of spades, eight of hearts, flush draw, gutter ball for me. It checks to me, I make it 65, and my Asian aggressive friend makes the call. Everybody else folds. The turn now is a three of diamonds. I lead out for 140, and he makes the call. Uh-oh. <laughs> The river now, 510 in the pot, comes a king of diamonds. I lead out for 375 and he tanks for a long time. He cuts out his chips, he's ready to make the call, but he folds. Oh man, he was staring me down. I felt like he was looking right through me. I was nervous, but evidently I didn't give too much away. So I won that hand. And as I've said before, man, your sessions, especially short ones like this, it was only two hours, uh, a hand like that makes or breaks the session. Thankfully, it made this one. We're now seven-handed. I have ace of diamonds, jack of diamonds, under the gun. I make it 20, the plus one, of the hijack, and the cutoff call. The flop, 87 in the pot, comes ace of clubs, 10 of clubs, seven of clubs, all clubbies. I make it 35 in the cutoff call. The turn, 157 in the pot, is the ace of hearts. I make it 60, and he makes the call. The river, 277 in the pot. Pretty good card for me. The 10 of diamonds, putting two pair on the board. I make it 100, he thinks for a minute, makes the call. I show my full house, and he mucks. He was mumbling, I think he had flopped a flush. 
short session at Seminole Hard Rock. So this will be the last hand we'll go over. And that was not a whole lot of action uh, for a casino that has a reputation for action. Um, I have 10 of clubs, 8 of spades. I have $1,400. I'm in the small blind. The under the gun limps. The cutoff makes it 15. I make a very, very loose call. Uh, the big blind folds and the under the gun calls. So the flop with 50 in the pot comes Jack, 10, 3. It checks to the cutoff, who makes it 20. I decide I'm going to go ahead and peel one off. I make the call. The other guy folds. The turn with 90 in the pot is a 7. I check. He makes it 40. I make the call. The river is a king. It goes check, check. He has pocket nines, so my 10 wins. Hard Rock in for a thousand, out for fourteen forty in about two hours, so not bad. A fun place to play. A really nice room and facilities. People were real nice too, so I'll definitely be back. All right, guys, three sessions this week, three wins. The comeback is in full force, full effect. Let's go, Mr. Bill. Hey, a shout out to a poker uh, vlog watcher who has become my friend, Jason Cole, and his wife, Amy. Thanks for having dinner with Vicky and I the other night. Very fun. The Mr. Bill meetup game. Oh my goodness. I have had an overwhelming response to the meetup game, and it's in progress. I'm working on it. So I've been working with two different clubs. I'm also working to see if maybe the Wednesday Night Poker League, if we could put it on ourselves. I honestly think with the response I've gotten, we should be able to get anywhere from three to five tables going, which is pretty exciting for me. I'm wondering if maybe I should do this for charity. Um, not exactly sure. I'm still working out the details of all of this stuff. But there is an announcement coming soon. There will be a Mr. Bill meetup game very shortly. Looking forward to it. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. If you're enjoying the videos, then either click on my head or another video for a little bit more of Mr. Bill. And you guys have a fantastic week, a blessed week, and I will see you all again next time. Bye.